Welcome. In this video, you'll learn how to create custom rules to automate software classification. As a software asset manager, one of your regular tasks is to monitor newly discovered software in your enterprise. The license metric tool make this process manageable by adding newly discovered software components to the software classification panel. On this panel, you can see all the software components that have been discovered in your enterprise. Then, as needed, you can perform actions that ensure the right components are reported under the right product and license. By taking these actions, you can ensure you have accurate license metrics. This process takes time, but much of this process can be automated using the Custom Rules feature on the Software Classification panel. Let's look at two scenarios where custom rules can save you time in managing your enterprise software. Carmen is a software asset manager who is responsible for tracking IBM software licenses. Since the recent purchase of IBM DB2 by the engineering department, Carmen has noticed that the software component IBM DB2 Advanced Enterprise Server Edition is being discovered regularly on engineering department computers. However, it is not being properly bundled to her company's license terms. Using custom rules, Carmen will be able to automatically classify the software component without the need for manual actions. Let's see how she sets up a new custom rule. First, Carmen goes to the Reports menu and chooses Software Classification. Now that Carmen is on this panel, she'll set up a report filter that will specify the conditions for the custom rule. Carmen chooses Configure View from the Gear menu. She sets up the condition Component Name contains IBM DB2 Advanced Enterprise Server Edition. This condition is specific to the component she wants to classify. Next, Carmen wants to set up this rule so that it only applies to the production computers in the engineering department. In Carmen's company, she knows that all engineering department production computers have names beginning with NC0401. So she sets up the condition computer name begins with NC0401. Carmen is finished setting up her filter, so she clicks Submit. Now Carmen needs to take a few more steps to create her custom rule. On the Software Classification panel, Carmen selects all the rows on the panel. She could hold down the Shift key and click each row, however she knows a shortcut. Carmen types Control A and all the rows are selected. After selecting all the rows, Carmen selects Choose from Catalog in the Assignment menu. Carmen can quickly find the product and metric to which she wants to assign the component by typing DB2 in the Quick Filter field. Carmen clicks the row with the product name and metric she wants. In this case, she wants the metric to be Authorized User Single Install. To create the custom rule, Carmen checks the box Create a Custom Rule and then clicks Assign. Now the next time the component IBM DB2 Advanced Enterprise Server Edition is discovered on engineering department production computers, the component will be automatically assigned to the correct product with the correct metric during data import. Before we look at the second scenario, let's quickly review a couple of other concepts you might want to know about software classification. Carmen wants to track all the engineering department computers where IBM DB2 Advanced Enterprise Server Edition is being installed. She can save the report view she has just created so she can easily get an up-to-date filtered report. Additionally, she can have IBM License Metric Tool send her a report on a regular basis using the Schedule Export capability. In some enterprises, software asset managers may treat software classification as a two-step process. First, a component is assigned to a product and metric, and then someone confirms the assignment is correct. In Carmen's case, she performs the assignment and confirmation in one step. To do that, she makes sure the checkbox Automatically Confirm the Affected Components is checked in the Assigned Component dialog. Now let's consider a second scenario. Carmen knows that most of the software installed and used on production computers is also installed on a specific set of test computers that are not used in production. Software discovered on these test computers should be tracked but not included in license metric calculations. Carmen will set up a custom rule to exclude the component IBM DB2 Advanced Enterprise Server Edition from license metric calculations when it's discovered on test computers. 
Just as she had done in the previous example, Carmen will set up a filter on the software classification panel. To make the process easier, she'll modify the report filter she had set up in the previous scenario. To quickly update the filter in use, she clicks the filtered link. The test computer names start with TVT, so she modifies the computer name filter to begins with TVT. There is no other condition to modify, so she clicks Submit. Before taking an action from the menu, she clicks Control A to select all rows. Since the component discovered on the test computers needs to be excluded, she chooses Exclude Product from Metric Calculations in the X menu. For a comment, she indicates components are not in production use. To create the rule, she checks the box Create a Custom Rule and then clicks Exclude. Now anytime new instances of IBM DB2 Advanced Enterprise Server Edition are discovered on test computers, the instances are automatically excluded from metric calculations. And that's it. We hope you can see how custom rules can help you save time managing the software installed in your enterprise. Here's the takeaway. 1. The first step in setting up a custom rule on the software classification panel is to create a filter which specifies the components and computers that are affected by the rule. 2. After applying the filter, select all the rows on the software classification panel before taking your next action. 3. Custom rules can be set up for classifying or excluding components. Check the box next to Create a Custom Rule and the rule will be created when you click Assign or Exclude. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links below and visit ibm.com 